Okay, so let's say I'm gonna, I wanna project this against the wall as I have done so right here, but I don't want it to, I don't want it to go over this um, television. So now I need to create a mask. So as you just saw what I did here is that I adjusted the opacity so that we could see through it. And by adjusting the opacity, it's just this blue line and you can click to where it's at. I'm gonna put it to 51% so I can see through and then I can do a better mask in. In order to zoom in, you can click this plus sign and we can get in really close here and we can be a little bit more precise because we're not as precise as we could be here with, with where these lines are lining up at. So you can get very precise with um, these zoom in and zoom out features. Now if you, um, let's say you zoom way in and you want to go back to where the stage was originally, you can select this icon and it'll go back to the original. Let's say that you want to, that you're way zoomed out and you want to go into the selected shape, then you can select this icon and it'll go into the selected shape or go out if you're zoomed way in. So, but we're gonna go back to the stage and see this and then I'm going to show you guys how to make a mask. So once your quad is up, you're gonna go down to the mask option and select that. You're gonna check that off. And then we're gonna get in a little bit closer than we are right now. And basically the mask function works with crosshairs and you, and you can click and it'll create a node. And you want to basically outline whatever you are trying to mask out and then to um, cut it out, you just push enter. Now there's there's other ways to create masks, um, and we could have got more precise if we would have zoomed in more. But that seems like it that seems like it's good enough for now. We have it playing on the wall behind the television, like so. So. Um, I'll show you another way to um, mask. There's a there's a couple clever ways that you, we can we can actually mask besides that mask function that we just used. One of them is to just create another quad. And while we create this quad, we can actually just pull it up to the this black space. And let's say we wanted to get rid of we wanted to mask out this television then we could just do that so that's that's another way to mask and then I will show you another way to mask that's a little um, a little better um, is the actual mask tool and that's because you actually get uh, crosshair so that this is another surface and it's an actual mask tool so you could come in here and I could actually do the same exact thing that I did here. Similar principle. And push enter. And there I have a, my mask that I have created. Okay, so those are three different ways that you can create masks. So we have this mask that I have created and I wanna show you that you can actually invert. So let's say I want the this projection to actually play on the TV and its stand then I would invert the mask and it would play just on those objects you know what's the inside the quad and outside the quad drop down well as you can see if it's if it's over the quad then it's just gonna stay in place when you move the quad it's the mask is actually just gonna stay and if you say inside the quad then it will stay with your actual quad. So now that we covered that, um, let's go into mesh warping.